Welcome, my name's Tanya from Relax and Play and I do thank you for purchasing the 4-in-1 infrared thermometer from me. Now when you receive your package you will receive quite an attractive box, the thermometer and base stand and some detailed instructions on how to use the product. In order to properly use this product I do stress that you read the full text of the instruction manual before using, in particular the safety precautions section. And please keep the instructions on the side for easy checking while you're taking the temperatures and also keep the manual safely in case you need to refer to it at a later date. We enter into the ear thermometer mode. Again, you will need to Press the scan button once to activate. You will see the last temperature reading has been displayed. Simply open the cap cover and there you will see the icon of the ear to show it is ready for the ear thermometer mode. Now the last reading will be there. So it is Pop it in the child's ear just by pulling the earlobe up and out. Pop it in, press it once and then release. You hear the beep. Take it out and there is your reading. Now before taking the temperature, the thermometer will more than likely be in the state of time environmental display. In order to deactivate that and activate the temperature mode, just press the scan button at the top. After the two beeps, you will see it will automatically enter into the appropriate mode. And here you will find the icon of the happy face, which means it is in the forehead temperature mode. As you can see, the cap is still on. Just make sure when taking forehead temperatures, um, you will need to fix the forehead hair out of the way, um, as this will uh, create any deviations in the measurements. And also any sweat on the head or cosmetics can affect the accuracy of the measurement. So just ensure you clean the forehead uh, prior to measuring. And it's also normal that there may be temperature difference depending on various skin types and colour since different skin type will reflect different voltage of infrared ray and also just bear in mind don't use the thermometers outdoors okay so I will just press the scan button once again as it's deactivated okay it is ready to use so again remove the hair from the forehead out of the way simply place it onto the forehead then you will press the scan button once keeping your finger pressed down then release and then it will be one long beep and your reading should be present so here we go pressing it down keeping it down and I think that's enough depress it here we go one long beep and there your child's measurement has been taken now I'm going to show you how to take the temperature in the object temperature mode. Now it will be initially in the mode of shutdown. So in order to pop it into the object temperature mode, we need to press and keep holding down this scan button at the top. And showing on the LCD will be a picture of a little house. Okay, I'll start. Press, hold it down, and release. And there is the picture of the house at the top, and also shows the last measurement that you took in object mode. So all we do is simply hold it up near the object like we do with the forehead. Press the scan button and keep it hot down release and here it will show your object temperature. The 
probe tip and the lens are the most delicate part of the thermometer and also the most precise part. It has to be clean and intact to ensure an accurate reading. So in order to clean it in between patients, just very gently wipe the surface with a cotton swab or a soft cloth moistened with alcohol. Or alternatively, I use these Medi-Swab alcohol wipes, which you simply take it out of the packet and wipe the tip very carefully and gently with the alcohol swabs. Now before using it on your next patient, just ensure that there is no moisture left on the tip and it is completely dried out. Okay, now just for something fun, I'm going to ask Alicia just a simple question, just to reassure all the children out there. Now Alicia, when I placed the thermometer in your ear, did it hurt at all? No, it tickled. It tickled, well, there you go. And Alicia, when I placed the thermometer on your forehead, how did that feel? Good. Yeah, and that didn't hurt either, did it? No. No. So there you go. There's just a bit of peace of mind uh, for you and your children. Well, I hope you have found this video helpful in gaining an understanding of how to use the eardrum forehead and object infrared thermometer. If you have any questions, and please don't hesitate to contact me. My email address is taharry at bigpond.com. And once again, thank you for your purchase. Thank you.